there's a time for everything. And God sometimes will put you in a place where you're hurting. And sometimes you don't know if the people that cause you hurt even care. Even know the depth of how unfair it was for you when you were hurt for you to experience what you had to experience, whether it be betrayal, deception, abuse of any sort, and you wonder, you wonder if they saw if your faithfulness towards them, your love toward them, how at this point the idea of an eye for an eye is not right, but or ear for ear, you know, you know, I hurt you because you hurt me. Like when you realize you have tried to do so well on your end and you've received something that was so contrary to what you sowed what to do and I think God really put in my heart it's to never let hatred go on never let hatred come into your heart and you need deliverance from it because hatred is equated to murder Unforgiveness is, it says in the Lord's Prayer, um, it says, Father God who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. May your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, thine is the glory, and thine is the power. And you were like, well, it says in that line, forgive me for my trespasses as I forgive those who trespass against me. So you want to forgive or else you won't be forgiven. Okay. And I feel like the main motivation for forgiveness should be the love of the Father. And you have to ask him for the grace and the mercy that his Holy Spirit allows you to be able to forgive and show the light of God in deep pain, trauma, agony, betrayal, all that. What is the world's response cannot be your response. Because we're in the world, but we're not of the world. And I just... Pray to God today, right now, Heavenly Father, that you would just allow people to come to a place of forgiveness, understanding, wisdom, love, and truth. That they will be delivered from the things that hold them bondage and that hold them, that holds them back in sin because of what was done unto them. Let us not grow bitter like Job, but let us praise you though, you, though we are slayed. See, Lord Jesus... You have not slayed us in this time. It's not like in Job's situation, Lord God. Well, from what I know, at least. You know, it wasn't that you... It's right now in this particular situation. It could have been a person that had hurt us, Lord Jesus. But I just pray because a person's poor decision. Because they decided to sin. That I pray that we don't wax worse. We don't grow worse because other people's sins, but we increase in the Lord Jesus Christ. That we continue to go glory to glory, faith to faith, increasing in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ and bearing more fruit that endureth till the end. And that we follow you forever, Lord Jesus Christ. I pray this over everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. It is the time to worship. 
sometimes the pain, sometimes the agony is so difficult to handle because you start to hate the world. You start to hate, you know, for some people, if there's a woman who's betrayed men. But you have to understand that you were born of God. And God will be your vengeance. And in all honesty, you should be praying for the mercy of the other person. And that they will do well in the Lord. And be free from their deception. Be free from their sin. And that you will be fully healed. And that you will walk and be where the Lord wants you to be in Jesus' mighty name. It's so hard when you're hurt because... It's like the hatred and the anger is like another side of you. It's like you want to exhibit and show this grace and this love. But sometimes betrayal and deception, what happens is you had a certain image of this person, but that whole image collapses because you just notice there's a whole other side of them. Where they lied to you and treated you as the least precious thing in their lives, it feels like like you were unintelligent. Mm -hmm. They treated you without respect, without loyalty. They scorned you, they hated you, they humiliated you. So because of that, you want to show love to the person, but instead, You have this hatred, right? So when we fall, when we follow the wrong thoughts, or you know the enemy brings up a certain scenario and etc., you fall back into the hatred and you lash out at that person. Because even maybe you're not even fully aware if this person has even really changed. I feel like the best thing right now is to preserve yourself in the Lord so you won't turn into a monster. So you won't turn into a bitter person. Because it's right there. That extra, that hatred is right there. That unforgiveness or that self like that part where you just have no peace in yourself because every part of you is hurting you feel yourself is that like in the spirit realm something is attacking you and you're bleeding it's like Jesus lead me Holy Spirit at that time God told me when I felt that way like I was injured I was walking in pain like My glory in his eyes is always beautiful. So it doesn't matter if the other person ever will continue doing what they're doing, betraying you, like in a marriage for instance. That in their eyes, you have lost your beauty, you have lost this, lost that. In the Lord's eyes, how he made me, he sees the bright light in me that he made. His son in me, Jesus in me, and he sees my beauty. And he loves me with an unconditional love. He loves you with an unconditional love. As a new creation of Christ, as his child, he sees you. And he does not see you any less. He sees who he is making you to be, which is holier. Because the path of the just get brighter and brighter until the perfect day. Until the perfect unto the perfect day. And What you have to know also is he makes you happy. 
people sometimes say happy is circumstantial or I don't know the real differences between joy and happiness but all I know is this is how I describe it his Holy Spirit makes me happy he makes me happy I think of him and I'm happy I think of him and I'm happy because he loves me and I love him I love Jesus and Jesus loves me right I just pray today that God will deliver you from everything you're going through whether you are the betrayed or the betrayer I ask that God will change your life she's waking and fill you with his Holy Spirit and allow you to see what's right what's wrong what could be done better and gives you the strength to act and respond and be like how Jesus Christ wants you to be I pray that you release us from a heavy heart that you'll fill our hearts Lord Jesus Christ that you give us discernment that you give us peace Holy Father and joy and purpose that you won't let the sorrows and tribulations of this world turn us into someone that you have not called us to be like called us to be I pray that you allow us to bear much fruit that is worthy of repentance and that is sweet to you Lord God and I pray that you will glorify your name and no matter what the situation is that you will cause the betrayer to have your heart and you cause the betrayed to have your heart and that everyone will be of one accord in your name with thy glory and your love and that you'll protect us spiritually and you cause the devil to leave that you would destroy the works of the enemy in Jesus mighty name amen have high hopes because our Lord is a God of hope he's the God who comforts he's the God of all comforts and go into your scripture before you judge and know that it says that look let me read this to you because you guys have to see this it's beautiful it says right here in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 3 to 5 KJB I love the King James Version blessed be God even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort who comforteth us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God so really all this comfort comes from one place and that's the Lord Jesus Christ so I pray that you comfort them Lord Jesus comfort them and let them walk in thy righteousness because the Holy Spirit is a spirit of righteousness hallelujah all glory be to God hallelujah it's not I it's the Lord